Hi friends, from today onward, I will record a series of pharmaceutics lectures. Our today introductory topic of this series is a nomenclature of a free ons. Yeah, our nomenclature of a aerosol propellants. Aerosols, propellants. Before we really proceed toward this nomenclature of aerosol propellants, we uh, should have a know-how of what are aerosol and what are propellants. Aerosols are dosage form or preparation containing active ingredients, dissolved, suspended, or emulsified in a propellant or mixture of solvent and propellant and packed in a pressurized container. So they are uh, containing the active ingredient dissolved or suspended in a dissolved suspended emulsif or emulsified in propellant or mixture of solvent and propellant So, what is this propellant? And they are packed in a pressurized container. So, what is this propellant? Propellant is also called heart of aerosol container or aerosol dosage form. They produce pressure inside the aerosol container. Propellants may be of two types. Uh, one is the compressed gas system like uh, carbon dioxide nitrogen nitrous oxide and other is a liquefied gas system liquefied gas system this liquefied gas system uh, is again divided into hydrocarbons like uh, they are hydrocarbon are compound containing carbon and uh, hydrogen for example methane ethane chlorinated hydrocarbons like chloromethane, chloroethane chloromethane and chloroethane <coughs> Fluorinated hydrocarbon when the hydrogen atom of a hydrocarbon is replaced by fluorine, they are called fluorinated hydrocarbon. For example, fluoromethane, monofluoroethane. Chlorinated and uh, other class is the chlorinated and fluorinated hydrocarbons for example chloro monochloro monofluoro 
now we discuss the rule for nomenclature of propellants before um, proceeding toward the rule let us take an example of trichloro monofluoromethane And this compound will be like this monofluoromethane. So the first rule says uh, uh, that uh, in the code, the digit at the right most. Uh, indicate the number of fluorine in the molecule so there is one fluorine in this molecule so we will write one in the right side the second rule says if the second digit uh, following the first uh, uh, from right to left uh, indicate the number of hydrogen atom but uh, there is a uh, another rule which says that uh, this uh, second digit uh, from right side uh, is one greater from the number of uh, hydrogen atom in this uh, molecule uh, as we see that there is no hydrogen atom in this molecule so the hydrogen atom in this molecule uh, is zero but we will not write here zero digit uh, because this rule says that uh, the second digit uh, to be written uh, to, uh, to be written over here uh, will be one more than the actual number of hydrogen atom present in the molecule so one more mean one plus to the actual number of hydrogen atom in the molecule so we will write one which indicate zero hydrogen atom in the molecule A third digit here represent the number of carbon atom in the molecule but there is again another rule which says that uh, the third digit from right side is first digit that is second digit here will be the third digit uh, is one less than the number of carbon atom in the molecule let's suppose there is a uh, one carbon atom in this molecule so we will not uh, write uh, here uh, one because this rule says that uh, the third digit from right side is one less than the actual number of carbon atom in the molecule one less mean minus one so here we gain zero zero indicate one carbon atom so we can write over here zero or we can just write uh, double one this double one code mean that there is one fluorine in the molecule this one shows that there is zero hydrogen because second rule say that the second digit from right side is a uh, one more than the actual number of carbon hydrogen atom in the molecule uh, this is zero indicate and this is the third digit this represent the carbon atom present in the molecule but we will not uh, we we may not write this zero here it represent one carbon atom because this third rule says that the third digit uh, to be written over here uh, is one less than the actual number of carbon atom in the molecule 
now we come to the number of uh, chlorine atom how we will guess from this code that how chlorine atom may be added uh, to the carbon skeleton number of chlorine atom is equal to total number of uh, atoms ya yeah, bonds to be added to carbon skeleton minus sum of uh, number of fluorine and hydrogen atoms added to the carbon skeleton in this example the number of chlorine atoms to be added would be uh, will be equal to number of chlorine atoms is the total number of bond to be added to uh, single carbon is 4 4 minus uh, sum of number of fluorine and hydrogen atom number of fluorine atom to be added is 1 number of hydrogen atom to be added is a Zero, one fluorine and zero hydrogen. So four minus one plus zero. Four minus one is equal to three. So the number of chlorine atom to be added. Chlorine atoms to be will be. Three. Thanks for.